Hello friends, welcome to our channel Mechanical Motivator. Today we are going to see a basic problem on projection of solid. So we are going to focus in on unit 3. Previously we uploaded many problems on unit 3. If you haven't watched means kindly take your time and go through all the problems so that you will be having a better understanding. Initially I will be explaining the problem, then I will be helping you to how to write the given data and then we will solve the problem step by step. So once you follow all the steps whatever I am saying it will be very easy for you to come in to a conclusion. So let us go into the problem. The problem is a square pyramid. Okay. A square pyramid of base H 40 mm and axis length 60 mm. First of all what we need to identify is what type of solid we are going to draw. So the solid which we are going to draw will be a square pyramid. Fix it up. Base 40 mm, axis 60 mm. So square pyramid means the base diagram which we are going to draw will be a square. So you will be having a doubt whether we want to go with this square or this square. You will be having a confusion. So read the question fully. <coughs> It's a freely suspended problem. Okay, so the this is a special type problem coming under freely suspended. It's freely suspended from a corner of the base. So what what happens? We're going to tie a string or a thread on one of the base corner and going to hang it up. So it is called the freely suspended. So base corner that is the corner of the base is going to be hung. So orientation will be corner. Okay, orientation will be corner. So corner means this is the corner. Okay, this is the corner, this is the base. So we will be going with the second diagram. So second diagram only will be going. So we will have to draw this type of square, not this type of square. And uh, such that the axis is parallel to VP. If the axis is parallel to VP, the axis will be inclined to HP. If the axis is inclined to HP, we are going to draw the base diagram in HP. So we are going to draw this type of square in HP and then we are going to proceed it up. So it's very simple. Just follow the step by step. Already we have solved two or three problems in freely suspended. So that this problem will be very easy for you. So first step will be you need to draw a reference line. This is called the reference line and you have to name X, Y, V, P, H, P. Reference line can be drawn with your uh, H pencil. X, Y, V, P, H, P should be written with your H, P pencil. The next thing is we are going to draw the base diagram in H, P. Resting in H, P. So those things are excellent clearly. So only we are going to take the corner one. The second one, second diagram whatever we choose. Huh? So draw this diagram. How to draw this diagram? See here. Initially draw a uh, imaginary line and uh, base side is 40 mm. So uh, this for this square, this is equal in plane. So angle will be 45 degree. So from here you have to draw a line for 45 degree and this is 45 degree and this angle will be 45 degree and this is 45 degree. Okay. So this line length is 40. This is 40. And then you have to keep your protector here for 90 degree you draw a line. Keep your protector, keep your protector here and for 90 degree you draw a line means you will be joining this. So this is how you have to draw this square. And naming you have to name like this A, B, C, D. These two angles are 45 degree and this angle is 90 and uh, this angle is 90 degree. So that you can easily get the uh, fourth point. So once you draw the square means uh, dimensioning or not you can dimension later on. For your understanding I just dimensioned 40. But uh, dimensioning part usually we used to do only at the last part after completing the diagram. Okay. And next thing is join A and C. Just join these two corners. Join this corner and join this corner so that you can get a point here. This point is called as 4. So join A and C and B and D so that you can get a point O. So here it's pyramid. Pyramid means we have to give preferences and more importance to slant edges. So OA, OB, OC, OD is called the slant edges. You have to draw it very very dark with your HP pencil. So just join OA, OB, OC, OD. These are called the slant edges. So right now we are completed. So whatever diagram we have drawn here, this is called the top view. So now we have completed the top view and by projecting it, we can draw the front view. The next step is we need to draw the front view. For drawing the front view, it's very easy. So since it's pyramid, the front view will be a triangle. If they, if the, if they are asking for a presumption, the front view will be a rectangle. So this is the concept. So see here. <coughs> Take your scale, keep your scale at the C point vertically so that the uh, scale will be touching a reference line, mark that point. You will be getting one point. Keep your scale at OD vertically so that the scale will be touching the reference line and there you will be getting another point. Mark this point, this is second point. Keep your scale at uh, A vertically so that the scale will be touching the reference line at one point. And that point, mark that point as third point. 
Now keep your scale. Now we can name very easily. So naming I will tell at last after drawing the triangle. So keep your take your scale. What I give the altitude or axis length is 60 mm. So you got the second point right. This is the second point for you. Keep your scale from the reference line for 60 mm. You have to keep a point because axis is 60 mm. From reference line, keep your scale. So mark for 60 mm. Mark a point. And uh, you will be getting a fourth point. Now join this point with this point and this point with this point so that you will be getting the triangle. Now we have formed the triangle. So it will be like this. Naming I will be explaining how to do. So when you see from here, when you see from here, you can see A right. So we have A dash. When you see from here, you can see B. You can't see D. So B dash bracket D dash. When you see from here, you can see C. So C dash we have written. So this is how we have to name it up. So here it's a special type problem freely suspended. So we have to go to the concept of the center of gravity where the CG for the square permit lies. For that we will be having a formula. So center of gravity for permit for calculating we will be having a formula that is called as H by 4. Okay. So permit is H by 4. So height is 60. Height is 60. 60 divided by 4 15 mm. So from the reference layer from the base we have to mark a point. This point is called as G dash. This is nothing but center of gravity. Okay. So from reference line for 15 mm, the value will be 15 mm. Height will be uh, distance is 15 mm. So this distance is 15 mm. From the reference line for 15 mm, you just mark a point. That point is called as G dash. Now what we are going to do? There are two corners. Okay. We can take either uh, G dash to A dash or G dash to C dash. Both are correct. So in this sum, I am going to take G dash to A dash. So join g dash and a dash okay join g dash and a dash then you can also take g dash and c dash because uh, one of the corner from the base from the corner of the base okay so they haven't mentioned anything so we can take anything so just join g dash and a dash now what i'm going to do i'm just going to tilt or hang this uh, premise upside down okay so next step we'll be getting a diagram here and whatever diagram we are getting here is the solution so just follow everything as of now we are calculating we have drawn the front view and top view and we have identified the center of gravity of the square pyramid the next step is measure a dash to g dash okay <coughs> how will be explain how i have drawn this measure a dash to d dash whatever the measurement is for the same measure measurement for what degree 90 degree you just keep it as it is so try to draw the diagram above the reference line in such a way that the diagram should not touch the reference line. Okay. So it will be coming in due practice alone. So just leave some distance. Okay. So measure A dash to G dash for the same distance you keep as it is. A, da A 1 dash G 1 dash you will be getting. Next is measure take your compass. Take your compass. Measure A dash to O dash. Keep your compass here. Measure A dash to O dash. From A dash you cut an arc. Okay. Next is measure G dash to O dash. Measure G dash to O dash. From G dash to cut another arc. So that you can get the two arcs will intersect like that point is called as O 1 dash. Mark that point. Okay. Now we have got A 1 dash, G 1 dash, O 1 dash. Next thing is measure O dash to C dash. Okay. Measure take your compass. Take your compass. Measure O dash to C dash. From O dash cut an arc here. From O dash cut an arc here. Next is measure A dash and C dash. Measure A dash and C dash. Keep your compass here. Cut an arc here. These two arc will intersect at one point. That point is called as C1 dash. Right now we have formed the triangle. Actually we are going to replace the same triangle in this way. I am just going to. Uh, this is called a string or thread or whatever maybe. We just going to pull or take this corner and going to hang it like this. See here this is the corner right. I am going to hang this corner in this way. That's what I am doing. And later on we will be getting the solution here. Okay. So now you know very well uh, A dash to B dash distance. Measure this distance A dash to B dash. For the same you have to measure from A dash and B dash to keep a point. Okay. So measure A dash to B dash. From here we measure and keep a point. And just join this point. It will be crossing through your center of gravity. Whatever point you got here. It will be crossing to center of gravity and reach O dash. So right now you have drawn all the whatever you are seeing here you have just drawn it up okay we just going to replace we just going to draw this triangle with the exact dimension we are just going to replace it like upside down by hanging it in one of the corner so this is what we did the next step will be we will be extending c1 uh, g1 dash and o1 dash lines vertically and here also we will be extending the lines 
horizontally so that we where these two lines intersect at that point we going to find the intersection points and name it up so next thing is we just going to extend this point b point g point and o point vertically and here d c b horizontally so we going to identify the intersection point this c and this c will intersect at here this b and this b will intersect at here this a and this a going to intersect at this point this d and this d will intersect at this point this o and this o will intersect at this point now we have identified the intersection point next thing is identify which point lying nearer to reference line or on the reference line so o one dash is the point which is nearer to reference line so whichever points are whichever uh, point is connecting towards the uh, o one will be marked as hidden so when you see from here okay when you see from here you just check it up you can't see o one and c one alone okay you can see the entire thing and here also you can see some what okay so when you see from here you can't see this part alone so we have to mark it this around hidden but the problem is we are having here uh, o1 to a1 o1 to a1 will be a visible edge okay so in this sum what is hidden is o1 to c1 can be written as hidden that is from here to here we can write hidden but since o1 to a1 is a visible edge so this will come under visible so it overlooked the hidden so only from a1 to c1 we can mark it as hidden initially you can mark o1 to c1 as hidden since we are having visible edge we will be drawing a line here so automatically what happens the hidden will get uh not visible hidden won't be visible that so remaining things you just connect all the edges so that you can get the solution so only a1 to c1 will be hidden and remaining will be visible edges so just join all the remaining visible edges see how i am joining join a1 to b1 b1 to c1 c1 to d1 it's over and d1 to a1 it's over one of is over next is we need to connect the slant edges o1 to a1 slant edge o1 to b1 o1 to d1 o1 to c1 we can't draw because here it's hidden right as i said before o1 to c1 will be hidden since o1 a1 is visible edge it's uh, completely hiding the hidden object so remaining a1 to c1 alone we can mark it as hidden so in this problem only a1 to c1 will be hidden this is our solution this is how you have to draw it then after drawing it you can draw the remaining unwanted lines so that your diagram will be looking good and coming back to the dimensioning part this is the extension line 2h pencil this is dimension line h pencil 60 and arrow head will be in hp pencil and same thing dimension line should be in h and extension this is extension this is dimension extension line 2h dimension line h pencil number and arrow head should be hp pencil same thing you just follow for here also so 1 2 3 for three uh, di three values we need to dimension it up and here no dimension at all we can directly go with it and uh, heading will be projection of square trabit projection of square trabit the height of the text should be 10 mm okay so just draw the line and write uh, in capital letter legibly and neatly and here uh, bottom is all dimensions are in mm scale only is one the height of the text should be 5 mm the uh, both the line should be written on the right bottom corner of your a3 sheet and then try to put the border and uh, draw a cross circle and write the number so this is how you need to present the diagram so i hope so this video will be very clear in case if you have any doubt means you can type in the comment section So if you feel this video is very clear and it's useful means kindly share the video to all first year students it will be very helpful for them during the preparation and in case if you want to make us video in particular topic or particular unit means type it in the comment section we will do the needful and do subscribe our channel mechanical motivator and stay tuned to their channel and check the other playlist also whichever is useful to you make the best use of it thanks for watching this video have a great day